Alrighty then, today I'm going to be doing a review on Chris Radical Man Lavalley, and uh, I'm just going to go through his sermons to see uh, if they're anointed or not, or if they suck, or whatever. This is just a unbiased review coming from me. Okay, so uh, let's make this maximize here. Make it nice and big and pretty. Hallelujah. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's starting out pretty good. Smacked in the face with an angel wing, man. Hallelujah. Obsessed with Holy Spirit. Oh, oh. You know what? What? I'll let you in on a mystery. Oh, yeah. Let's go. <laughs> you know, the Holy Ghost in me is the same size of the Holy Spirit in you if you receive Jesus. We got the same Holy Spirit, hallelujah. The problem is the difference between someone who doesn't really care and someone who just, all they care about is the manifest presence of God and relationship of walking with God in the cool of the day and heat of battle is uh, yeah. desire. <laughs> Wow, he speaks oh, my man. language, man. <laughs> it's one thing to desire God. Jesus. That's on a Sunday increased. morning where everybody's all prayed up and, you know, the atmosphere is easy. And then you, then you go home and go back to what you usually do. It's another thing. So even if you do go to those meetings and get all jacked up and then you go home, <sighs> you don't return to what you usually do. Let's do what he this does. is the on switch. This is the structure of the day. Obsessed with Holy Spirit. <laughs> what Amen. are you doing today? <laughs> Same thing we did yesterday. Uh, We're going to pursue the manifest presence of God. Yeah. Glory. <laughs> We're going to do what he shows up. <laughs> Whatever He's doing. Listen. For what he's saying, oh, and we're yeah. gonna do what he shows us. Wow, I feel some sauce on this then video. What? I like it. <laughs> well, that's just the beginning, you see. Glory. So you, beca you got to become like a little child Amen. to enter the kingdom. Jump on the Father's lap. Spirit and of water to enter the kingdom, and then you begin to live life more abundantly. It's not anything that we've ever been taught through man because the Holy Spirit is the only one who can teach us. Whoa, hear that? He will... It's not anything that we've ever been taught by man. It's the Holy Spirit who teaches us. Oh, Holy Ghost, just teach us today. So far, so good. Fill a little bit of sauce on the guy. Uh, he's obsessed with Holy Spirit <laughs> and he speaks my language so far. Uh, I give him maybe a, maybe like a seven, seven out of ten. I don't feel totally blasted, but there's there's a little bit of <laughs> there's some truth coming forth. We'll see if the rating goes up or down as we per, as we continue this uh, uh, whatever you call it review of uh, Christopher Radical Man Lavelle. Here we go. Man. But the natural mind cannot comprehend the things of the spirit. That's why you have to have a relationship with Holy Spirit. Amen. Or else all your teaching is in vain. Everything you've been learned, everything you've been taught, just must go on the altar of fire. It's pride. And Paul said, I count it all up, as man. dung. And we know what that word means. that I might be found in him, or that I might find him and be in him and him and me face to face. Yeah, one I count spirit. all the teachings, everything I've ever learned about God is worthless, dung, that I just might know him. He taught of the Lord. If those, if those teachings don't bring me into a deep face to face encounter, what worth do they hold? If they don't bring other people into face to face encounters, what worth does it have? It's, you have one teacher. You have one Lord. Who is it's the Spirit who reveals the deep things of God to us? The Holy uh, Spirit. More Holy Ghost. 
or clarity. So if you want your day to be relevant, I would encourage you to pursue Holy Spirit. Heart to heart, yeah. To seek and find the living God so that all the head knowledge that you've ever learned about God that doesn't bring you into a counter but brings you into debates and opinions Pride. will just burn up in the consuming fire. Humility of the Lord, yeah. And it's burn better it that way. It's better that we just burn up everything now so that we can just be ministering spirits. <laughs> just like his angels are ministering spirits of fire. So far, so good. I like that. That he just wants Jesus. He just wants the Holy Ghost to burn him up. Burn up all the pride. Burn up all the fakeness. Burn up all the... the anything that'll puff us up with poopy mindsets. Dung. <laughs> oh, there's nothing left but Christ in us. That hope of manifest glory. I enjoy... I'm, I'm enjoying this so far. I'll, I'll watch it for seven minutes, then I'll give my final verdict of whether uh, a radical man is uh, truly radical or if it's just a name only. You minister truly out of your spirit or else whatever you're ministering is flesh. It has to be 100% caked in the Holy Ghost sauce or else it's not going to bring change because Jesus said, my words are spirit and truth. And it's also, he said that not one word will pass away. Uh, his words will not pass away. Heaven and earth shall pass away. But nothing that Jesus spoke will pass away because his words were spirit and life. <laughs> life? <Sorry. laughs> Going to kill life? Mm. Oh. <sighs> Into your Jesus. hands I commit my spirit, Father. The only thing that was put to death was the flesh. For our sake, he was the perfect sacrifice for us to enter into his perfection. What is perfection, you might ask? It's the seven spirits of God blazing through your heart, soul, mind, and flesh, and transfiguring you into the image of God, which you were at the beginning, but a new creation. So, Meaning that you're no longer human being anymore but you're a spirit being with an earth suit on spirit and I just I'm just here to enjoy <laughs> enjoy engage enjoy. that joy you know <laughs> I'm engaged to joy <laughs> holy, holy spirit promise me that we're gonna be together forever so you may as well treat him like your lover. Yes and amen. To him. Glory. The Holy Spirit is given to you like an engagement ring. Just a covenant of love, a covenant of peace with the living God. Bound by the living God. Oh, boy, Holy Spirit. To the living God. God, we just yield to you 1,000% right now. We give you our yes. body, Thank which you, is God. the temple of the Holy Spirit. It's Take reasonable. And we give you our thought life, our Take soul, our, minds. our desires, Take it all, God. and our spirit. Amen. We just sacrifice everything that distracts us from you. Now, willingly, God. Willing. Because I know that <laughs> some Thank people you, say, I paid a great price for this anointing. <laughs> well, if you consider darkness value, then you can't yeah, buy I guess the you anointing. Did pay a great price by sacrificing <laughs> your darkness. <laughs> Sacrificing your sin. Glory. Oh, no, we've been purchased with price by the precious blood of Jesus, which has infinite worth. Yeah, so far I like what he's saying. I might sit here and uh, might sit under this guy's ministry for a bit, but uh, there's way more revelatory ministers out there. You could probably go listen to them and get blown up. But we're all, there's all little tiny pieces. There's fingernails, there's hands, there's legs, there's toenails. You know, whatever section of the body that you can receive from, you'll receive their reward. So, you know, for the immature, this is a good place to start. <laughs> you know, just get blown up, get focused back on Jesus and uh, get the foundation strong with him and you'll, you'll, do, you'll do some growing. For stronger meat, just, uh, I, I'd highly recommend 
that you check out the Apostle David Hogan, who God sent to Mexico to raise the dead. I might do a review on his videos after this one. Well, I just want to thank you for uh, coming here. My final verdict would be about uh, this is like a lower intermediate level of teaching. Or just put your focus back on Jesus and the Holy Spirit's the teacher who will bring you the advanced teaching, which you don't even need a man to teach you. <laughs> He'll teach you all that you need, advanced righteousness, because the best, highest teaching that you'll ever learn is in the atmosphere of his unconditional love blazing through your heart and mind. All right, I hope you enjoyed this little, uh, whatever you call it, review. I don't know how to shit this thing off, but it was fun for me. I hope it was fun for you.